Zoe. Yeah. New pub there. Lancaster. The Lancaster. We'll not go in it because I bet it costs a bomb. <laughs> you get that, Zoe? Lancaster. Yeah, bomb. Too, yeah. Lancaster bomber. <laughs> That's actually quite funny for you. Do you know, I'm a, I'm a waste of talent, I am. Even when you feel low, you can still go. Even when you feel slow, you can still go. Even when there's no hope, you can still go. I never answered a no, man, I still go. go. Morning. Just got up, got dressed. I'm just uh, going to get ready. Put kettle on and have a nice cuppa. Well, I'm awake anyway. Just a cup for me, I think, this morning. I'm going to take dogs out soon. We're going to go for a little run, aren't we, Millie? Yeah? But your daddy's still in bed. He'll not be up for a bit. He'll still be in bed when I come back. Just waiting for... I'm just waiting for a kettle to boil. I've got eating on. Just warm. Fan up a little bit. Because it's usually freezing on the morning. Hey, why are you going to have a look for the window? Hey, I know, I'll not be long, I'm just going to have a coffee. Okay, just waiting. Oh, here he is. Not like you to be up before me. I've done it. I am up every day. Even if I'm falling. Like, Goodbye, John. <laughs> Wait until he starts whistling. This will do anyway. Mm. Ha! A beeping on! <laughs> I did hear that, guys. They're uh, beeping on, we get a lot of that here. But we don't care. <laughs> They're only jealous, they'll be off to work. And I'm going out for a so run. a couple of minutes and um, I think I might just... Oh, he's got wires stuck. Bloody! Um, run around the coastal area. Then I might take the dogs on the... Oh, I'm not going to say the word because they'll go crazy. The B-E-A-C-H. He even knows what that means now. He can't even spell words. Look at him. If I just uh, sneak round and show you what he's doing. Mm -hmm. Cannot wait. Look at him. So excited. I'm just gonna go out for a little run. There's Bertie. I just thought I'd show you him. Right. Come on then, guys. Let's go. Let's up to the beach. Look at him. He's so cute. Wait. Wait. He's bouncing. Come on. Grand <laughs> Ambo Day! Oh, I'm so excited! <laughs> I've left John still in bed. I'll be going back to sleep for an hour while I do this. No wonder he's bloody breakfast making. He's got a wry life. <laughs> I just had a right nice run on that beach uh, behind me. And I'm just going to set off here. Um, it's near Pizom Park. Um, and I'm going to run here along uh, Marine Drive to Scarborough. I wonder how long it'll take me. Uh, probably about 20 minutes there and back. It does. It's not right now, it's morning. Did 
was going to run past Bertie just down here. Oh, there's a cafe there. We'll be going to that later. A nice cuppa. Breakfasts are that expensive in there at all. Just £30 for two breakfasts and two coffees. So give that a mix and just going for a coffee. Come on, Denise, let's go. This is how I do my uh, editing and laptop work, computer and my power bank off grid. So I plug my uh, laptop into my power bank because that's got a three pin plug on it. Um, this is our power bank that we use, a 250 watt. It does its job, we charge it up when we're on campsite and it does last us about a week or so. Um, so that's really good, so it powers everything up. That's three pin and that's his view this morning. At the beach, people on beach already look. Just a busy road, that's all here. This is my favourite part at Motor Room. Look how dark it is in here. And it's 10 o'clock in the morning and it's pitch black in here. So when you're having a sleep, nothing makes you up apart from noise at road. <laughs> but yeah, pitch black in here. So he's just making breakfast. Can't even see it, can you? And I'll show you the magic of this motor home. All you have to do is open that and bingo, look at that. That's my skylight. So it's nice and bright in here now, and I've still got the blinds shut on the window so that nobody can see in, and suddenly you've got daylight. You can see the sky. I've got me TV down here. This is my bed. I'm a six foot one and my feet don't even touch bottom. Oh, I've got no limbs, look. Don't even touch bottom. Look at that. Loads of room. That's so his bed on that side. And it is joined by this big cushion here. So it's a huge bed because it goes full width at motor home. We do have an extra cushion that does drop in there. If you've seen his previous logs, we've shown you that. And it makes a huge bed. But wow, this is so comfy, this bed. One thing in this motor and we don't have problems sleeping and then up here we've got lights, touch lights, we've got um, speakers, if you can see that, we've got charging points, we've got everything, music, everything in this room and then I'll show you and then blinds just come down, big window, just do a banking. Yeah, so, and I'll just show you this side guys and show you where we are drop this one down bingo there's the sea there we are these windows are tinted so it's very difficult for people to see in more to them anyway even when they're down but generally when we're at the side of a road or a, or a public footpath like people walking past there now we generally keep them up or at least so far up so people can't you know seeing it just makes it a bit more private and just chill out in here it's brilliant and then, this is why i don't get up in the morning and make comfy we've got an ensuite suite because we've got shower there and up with the toilet toilet and sink this side lines up up again and then i can use the way we open this door shut that door because it's closed the toilet off and there she is Making breakfast. I was making a bacon sandwich. Bacon sandwich. There we are, look, look at Billy, that. Billy, shut up. Bacon sandwich. And a cup of coffee. Bacon sandwich and a cup of coffee, I might see. Mm. Yeah, baby. Bacon sandwich. Another. A cup of coffee. Oh, this is living life, isn't it? Mm -hmm. oh, love it. We love life, don't we, Zoe? Mm. How good is this? Wherever we go in the country, love. Hey, it's brilliant. Outside at sea, this is very good. Yeah. Can't see. <laughs> Moving a on. Sandwich. Moving on today to our next destination. Yeah. This is just Get our life sandwich. and just what we do. <sighs> love it. Did you enjoy that bacon sandwich, you made you? <laughs> That'll be the day you never made me a bacon sandwich. Can oh, you yeah. actually cook? 
Yeah. No. Yeah. I won't prove it. Hmm. Said wrong thing there, didn't I? Mm. You can see why people beep, though, can't you? You know when you're like living for free outside at sea. I mean, this is like prime location, isn't it? Mm. And bear in mind that I don't pay for a house. I know you do, but I don't. I don't pay council tax, I don't pay anything. I know. Electric bills are, no. This is all free, isn't it? I don't pay a mortgage. All gone, no responsibility. I know. This is my house, and it's in prime location. <laughs> Keeps moving to more prime locations, doesn't it, Bob? Hey, it don't get much better than this, does it? Right cosy, it is. It's all you want in life. Bacon sandwiches, cups of coffee, being able to sleep. Next at sea. Next at sea. Eh, hey, what more do you want? Hey. Just off for us walk. Run up. Do me lock. Could be in my van. Training's though. Yeah, bro. Yeah, take keys. I've locked the tanner. I always lock van. And then I have to check three times that I've locked it. Mm -hmm. Is that right? Do you do the same? Yeah, I, I double check it. Yeah. Well, it's a bit miserable now. Yeah. Oh. I bet your uh, your appointment for your tooth, Zoe, is about half past two. It is not, no. I bet it's it not is. Two thirty. Two thirty. <laughs> two thir two thirty, Zoe. <laughs> Did you get that? Oh God. These are nice apartments, aren't they? Yeah, I bet they're not cheap. Right, colourful on here. You know we all beach huts. Yeah, I think they've just recently been painted, but look at them. Yeah. It's like uh, when we went to Isla Mull, Toblamore, Balamore. What's the story, Balamore? Millie shouting at me, throwing me ball. See Life Centre right over there. <laughs> it's face, isn't it? Do you want some facts, Zoe? Uh, not really, but I'm going to get you some money. Yeah? <laughs> oh God, get ready for this. <laughs> The Grand Hotel in Scarborough yeah. was built in 1867 mm, yeah. and it has four towers which represents the four seasons of the year. It is on 12 floors to represent the 12 months of the year and it has 365 rooms for the days in the year. Did you know that? And it also had a railway system in the basement that used to carry all the laundry around. Oh wow, that's very good. Yeah, and it was the most luxurious hotel it was. in the UK. Well, it's not anymore though. Well, it's bloody old now, it's no. falling down mm. now, isn't it? Yeah. Just a little fact for you there, Zoe. Mm -hmm. Just something I've just Look read. You. <laughs> Do you want another fact, Zoe? Oh god, not really, but I'm going to get up with anyway, aren't I? Uh, 
the Romans used to be here, oh. and they had a signal tower oh, on top they? of there. Yeah, Romans. in 370 oh. AD. 370. Yeah, wow. and that keep there was built in 1154, and was the first part of the castle to be built. And what? the curtain walls were built some time after. Did you know that? I didn't know. And the original castle was a wooden one. Uh, so was that before Vikings then? Yes. Mm. Huh? Okay. Mm. Just thought I'd tell you that. Go ahead. Uh, I don't want to go back home. In 1253, when King Henry III, right, mm. he held an annual fair in Scarborough that lasted 45 days every year which okay. coincided with the herring shoals mm -hmm. that came and the fish came in and that's where the song Are you going to uh, Scarborough You don't have to sing it, you've always got to tell us do, do, oh, That's where that song comes from uh, That's um, Simon and Garfunkel Are you going to Scarborough Fair? Yeah, but it doesn't sound like that though Ah, sound better <laughs> <laughs> Where did the name Scarborough come from, Zoe? It used to be called Scarthy. Scarthy? When the Vikings came, they called it Scarthy, which means stronghold. And they think that's where the name Scarborough comes from. Oh, Scarthy. Scarthy. S-C-A-R-T-H-I. Scarthy. Mm. Scarborough. Another interesting fact for you, though. Uh, Go on, then. Who built this? Who built that? No one built it. No, they did. Did they? Yeah. It was farmed. No. No one actually built it. No, they did. Sir Cliff. Sir Cliff built that. They named it after him. <laughs> Cliff. So that yes, comes from Zoe. Any more interesting facts? <laughs> no, definitely no? no more. Come back to me. No, I'm trying to look out for dolphins here. Yeah, there's cold. some dolphins out here, guys, somewhere. Somebody's just said. We'll keep looking. Another fact, Zoe. Zoe. Another, another one. Yeah. Another fact, Zoe. Let's just Come sit on, on this plaque here. This, this wall. Like Another Anne Bronte is buried here in St Mary's Church. The Bronte sisters. She used to come and visit. She loved Scarborough and she did one of her books on Scarborough Town. And her sister Charlotte buried her here because this is where she died. And she says she buried her where the flower fell. And she's buried St Mary's Church and she was only 29. She's 29, Zoe. In 18, just a minute. 18, 1849, uh, Zoe. I'm just a wealth of information. It's all in my head. All in my head. This. any more information you need to know. What plaque? Ain't no plaque here. I just know all these things, it comes natural to me Zoe, that's all it is. Come on, let's go to bloody Scarborough. Just coming into Scarborough. Scarborough. Are you going to Scarborough Fair? You know, it used to be a lighthouse or something like that, Zoe. I bet it did. It looks like one. A lighthouse? Yeah. Right. Shouldn't a lighthouse be in the sea though? Huh? Shouldn't it be it's not in it's not in the sea, is it? Shouldn't it be in the sea? Education, John and Zoe style. <laughs> Lighthouses have got to be in the sea. <laughs> Bless. Come on. Zoe! Yeah. New pub there. Lancaster. The Lancaster. We'll not go in it because I bet it costs a bomb. <laughs> you get that, Zoe? Lancaster <laughs> bomb. Yeah. Lancaster bomber. <laughs> That's actually quite funny for you. Do you know, I'm a, I'm a waste <laughs> of talent, I am. King Richard III stayed here, Zoe. In 1483, he'd had enough of his castle and he thought he'd come down and try it B&B. &B. So we come down here, had a couple of pints, and I've been an exit morning. <laughs> he stayed there, yeah. 
Look at that chocolate milkshake. From where are we? The Edward winning. Arba bar. Arba bar. The coffees are really nice here as well. Do you try a coffee? It's HRH, like. the Prince of Wales Award. Shut up. See what it's like. What is it like this? Come here. Sit. Sit down. Um, it's nice, but I won't go overboard about it. Yeah. It's just a chocolate milkshake, though. I think they're nicer with ice cream in them, that one. St Mary's Church. Wow. Here goes away. The grave of Anne Bronte. Yeah, it's just sad because she was so young. 29, 18, 20 to 18, 49. Novelist and poet. And that's the original uh, headstone. Oh. Yeah. Here you are. In Scarborough. Yeah. And Bronte's grave, love. Yeah. And St Mary's Church is there. How good is that? Well, it's not good, is it? But you know what I mean. Oh, got a right bump on my head, look. Oh dear, I fell over dinner, Zoe. Yes, you did. Coming got, back in motor home, you did, didn't you? Yeah, I got really drunk and fell over in motor home and banged my head into last night. Yes. So, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Here's Zoe, where she normally is. <laughs> in bed. <laughs> and here's where Bodie normally is. In bed. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this uh, vlog in Scarborough. Oh, a bit different this one, wasn't it? Is it? Yeah. Okay. More motor room. Yeah. So please like and subscribe if you enjoy watching us. Anyway, I'm off to sleep now. <laughs> what do you say, Bob? Hey, you're not sleeping there, kid. That's my bed. <laughs> he likes sleeping there. He's not sleeping there. He's got his no, position. No, you're not. You just put that out there. No. Oh, he's such a lovely doggy, aren't you? He's such a lovely doggy. He's right happy. Where's Millie? Millie's on the bed. Mm. Oh, she's happy, isn't she? That's yeah. why she's sleeping. She is. Right then, we're off then. I'm off to get some sleep. Some sleep? Where are we going next, Zoe? I'd like to go to Wales. Wales? We're going to Wales next. Yeah. I will see. We'll see where the road takes us. So, uh, hope you liked this video, and uh, hopefully, we'll catch you on the next one. Bye. Yay.